you have to hate sin. This is the only way that, or one of many ways, pretty much the main way, on how to stop sinning. When you get to the point where you have no interest in it, this is going to be the way where you can control your sin habits. For instance, have you ever eaten something that really had a bad taste? For me, I really don't like fish. Now, some people can cook fish where I can eat it, but mostly I don't like fish. Fish have a very strange taste to it. I don't know why. At least for me, in my opinion. And back when I was in sin, there were some people who were trying to get me to eat sushi. Now, <laughs> some people can eat squid, octopus, fish eggs, and all that stuff there. I have no idea on how people can eat stuff like that. <laughs> I dislike eating fish. And sometimes I try to eat it, but the taste to it, oh, my lord, something seems wrong. <laughs> So, I am not going to be tempted to eat fish because why? Because I don't like it. You have to be the same way toward sin. Have no taste for it. Like, you don't want anything to do with it. Pretty much... You have to hate sin. You have to hate sinning. Whatever you are doing, you have to get to the point where you hate it. I was talking to this one person a while back, maybe a year ago, and Back when I was in sin, many bad things happened to me, and I knew some parts and pieces of it, but from talking to this one guy, he shed a bit of light upon what was happening to me. After finding out some things about my past, about what was really going on, you know, even while serving God, I would think about my past life, thinking about how much fun I had and stuff like that, and thinking about the good times, I guess you can say. But <clears throat> when I started to speak to that person, I found out that what I thought was fun was not fun. It was actually hurting my life much more than I knew, my Lord. And, my Lord, so many things that I was doing 
was causing me pain, but I was in so much sin that I thought that those bad things was bringing more life to me other than cursing me. When I found that out, <laughs> to be quite honest, I don't really think about my past life. I don't think about the so-called good times that I had because I found out that those times were really bad. They were cursing me. My Lord. And as I increase in God, I am finding out more, more and more how foolish I was back then. How silly and deceived I was back then. Sometimes thoughts about my past come to me and I am shocked that I was ever that way. Completely shocked how ignorant and foolish and silly and, oh my Lord. It is a blessing that I am here today. I am serious. A blessing from God. So when I think about my past now or when demons try to make me think that my past was fun, no. I don't want anything to do with my past. Nothing. Now, the thing I really want to do perhaps is apologize to some people that I hurt, like my ex-girlfriends, I want to speak to them. Maybe not speak to them, I don't know, but I want to apologize to them. Apologize to the people I hurt, because I hurt quite a bit of people. So that is the main thing I want to do there is apologize to so many people. But my main point is you have to hate sin. And what I see in common from the comments and the emails and stuff like that Many people are having problems with pornography. Many people are having problems with perhaps anger and depression and suicidal tendencies. In order to stay away from those things, you have to hate it. You have to love the things of God more than the evil things that you are doing. Like with porn. I don't want to watch porn. I dislike it. I don't want anything to do with it because I know if I watch it, my Lord, so many more demons will be attached to my life. That is the main reason I don't watch it. Look, let's say that I do watch porn or like at this second, I begin to watch porn. Yes, I may be happy with it for that five or 10 minutes, but what I am going to receive is going to be much more painful 
than the pleasure that I receive from it. So that is an easy choice to say no. My Lord, the pleasure that you are going to receive from doing sin is going to be less than the bad things that are going to happen to you from doing those sins. I am telling you. Having sex with that woman or that man, it may seem like so much fun, but the demons and the curses and all that stuff there that you are going to receive is going to be much more than the pleasure that you are going to receive from doing those sins. I am telling you, I am trying to tell you. So, for me, it is a really easy decision for me. Hey, let me not do it because it is not worth it. Because you really, to be quite honest with you, you really don't get anything from it. Demons are actually getting much more than what you get pleasure in when you sin. How can I say this? Demons get much more than you when you sin. So pretty much you are giving demons more and more control over your life when you sin. So when you factor this in the equation, sinning is not worth it because you are going to pay much more than you receive. Listen, if someone said to you, hey, this sandwich costs $20 and an average sandwich costs $2, why in the world would you pay for a sandwich that cost $20. Why not go to somewhere else and pay that $2 or $1? Why not? Why would you overpay for something where you can get it much cheaper? When you sin, you are overpaying. You are way overpaying. My Lord, The closer you get to God, I am trying to tell you, the closer you get to God, the more you are going to see how your past life, how foolish and silly it really is. I am telling you, it is not worth it. You are overpaying. Yes, while serving God, yes, some bad things may happen to you, yes. But the peace and the good things that come with serving God is worth enduring what you have to endure when you serve God. When you sin, so many bad things are happening to you. My Lord, to be quite honest with you, sin makes you into a fool. It makes you really foolish. There is this person that knows of God. And he knows much more about God than I thought. But he still chooses to sin. And he can see the bad things 
that are happening to him, but he still chooses to sin. Why? He can easily change and what is going on in this person's life would change as well, but he rather continue to do what is wrong when it is hurting his life so much. It makes no sense. So what can I say to him that he don't already know? I can't say anything else to this person because this person knows. But he rather overpay. So many bad things happens to this person. Personality flaws and stuff like that. That can easily change if he would just give his life to God. But some, but for some reason, he just want to continue on as he is. With so many bad things happening to him. I guess I was the same way as well at one time. So I pray that this makes sense. You have to hate sin. You have to hate it with everything inside of you. When demonic thoughts come to my mind, I can resist them. I don't want anything to do with those bad things. Trying. <laughs> I was reading this comment. And this person was saying what he does to not <laughs> to not watch porn or to masturbate. <laughs> He places ice on his genitals. And I am thinking, for how long can that actually work? I don't know if that person was serious or I believe this person was serious. I don't know. But how long can that actually work? Doing earthly tricks like that. It may work for this time here and that time there, but after a while, I don't know. So I pray that this makes sense. You have to hate sin. You have to hate it. Like I said before, I can't be tempted to eat fish because I dislike fish. I can't be tempted to smoke because I don't like smoking. I can't be tempted. What else? <laughs> I can't be tempted to, I don't know, to be gay because I don't like guys in that type of way. So if you have a strong dislike towards something, when demons try to tempt you in that area, then you can resist much more. I pray that this makes sense. You have to hate it. God bless.